Okay, this is my newest fig. You can see that we've got quite a bit of fruit development here. We also have the second round of figs starting to form down here. And uh, I believe there might have been another couple of places. But this fig is literally a one-year-old um, white Marcellus. And I literally pinched the tops of it as soon as I got it and forced it to fruit. Now, let me go over uh, the next one which I already pinched yesterday. And this fire ring planter, back where most of my blueberries are at, also in fire ring planters, this is a two-year-old Chicago hardy fig. And it, it was actually taller than this last year. And because it's kind of at the lower part of a hill, uh, it got killed off by frost this past winter. I forgot to cover it. Just too much going on and never got around to it. So I went ahead and pinched this off because it is almost July 1st. Today's actually June 25th. And what I the reason that I pinched it off was it didn't look like it was going to produce any fruit yet. But I want it to fruit, and I want the fruit to have enough time to ripen before the weather gets cold. So before the first uh, frost date in northern Kentucky, zone 6B. And I'm needing about 100 days, give or take, for that to happen. So being that July 1st is coming up, we would have July, August, September... That's about 90 days, and then the first week or two of October. Usually we see our first frost here in about the middle toward the end of October. So I wanted to go ahead and get this pinched now. Now, actually, in just one day, I've already seen... We go right down here. One day after pinching, you can already see right there in between... Uh, let me see if I can get this to focus better. And let me see if I can find another one. I just noticed that one while I was there. Does that one ever come in any better? Zoom in, zoom in. Focus, focus. Nothing. What I'm getting at, though, is just since I pinched this, I can already tell that it's going to go ahead and fruit out. There is nodes in between each one of these leaves and the main branch. There's two nodes up here. Before it fruits, there was one little white dot there. When it gets ready to fruit, it changes into two white dots. And one of those will be the fruit, and the other one will be... Let me try this one one more time. Because this is the one you really need to see. It's like clear and plain as day. I just can't believe this is going to be so difficult. have my other camera I could probably oh there we go so see see how you got like the two white dots that are right about the end of my finger there you go you can see it again two white dots one of those would be a fruit one of those would be another branch and uh, it's happened pretty quick just since I pinched them yesterday now, as soon as it starts to form fruit on this, I'll go ahead and switch the fertilizer uh, to a different type. Uh, the same, the same uh, Miracle Grow bloom that I use on the on the bananas to kind of force them to fruit. Also, 
So now let me show you how to pinch a fig in this next one. And we're actually just outside of the garden. I've got some pawpaws over here. And actually this is the first fig that I ever planted. And it's actually a, this will be his third year. But like the other one, it's kind of part of the way down a hill. And Frost got it also. And this winter I'm going to show you how I normally protect my fig trees. I'm going to try and hope and pray that I have enough time to do it. Because I just simply didn't have time last year. Um, figs can die back all the way to the ground. They come back pretty much every year. But if we look, I'm going to have to find a place that you can see this. If we look here. Now if I can get it to focus. See that's a single white dot in that nodule. There, single white dot. Sorry about the focus. Bad thing about recording videos with the cell phone. Single white dot in that nodule right there. Now when I pinch this, that's going to change to two white dots. Usually. This is how you pinch a fig. You go up. For each branch that you want to fruit, they say that it should have at least five leaves on it. So this right here obviously has at least five leaves. You come up, you find the highest point of that branch. Now you can actually see here, there's like a fork right here. Well, if I can get in there. This fork right here. This one over here is going to be a new branch. This one here is the main growing one. You pinch that off. Now there's going to be some white stuff come out. See it there? That white stuff is toxic to your skin. If you get it on there, it's not going to kill you, but you want to make sure that you wipe that off. Wash it off with soap and water after you're done pinching your figs. So you do that same thing on each branch. So I go down, I look, this one's got at least five. I'm gonna go ahead and pinch it too. This one over here, it's got at least five leaves on it. I'm gonna pinch it also. I got that one, I got that one, I got that one. This one back here, has got at least five on it, but I, it's kind of small, so I'm going to leave it alone. This one over here has got at least five on it. I'm going to pinch it. All right, so now what we've done is we have just forced this plant to go ahead and fruit. And I'll do an update video when it does fruit for this one and also the other fig tree. Uh, it should happen within you know, a couple weeks.